hear from teachers all the time that students don't elaborate in their writing. They don't put their own thinking in. They're really good at citing evidence. So as we were planning for this lesson, we thought, what better way to demonstrate to the masses a lesson where we can include evidence and elaboration. So we call, the, call this the seesaw method. Um, although kids don't really know what a seesaw is anymore, they can understand the language when we do our seesaw arms and it helps them have that um, kinesthetic movement as well. Thank you so much for letting us work with you guys today. I really appreciate it. And I'm not sure if your teacher told you or not, but you guys are gonna be like the teachers today and all of us are gonna be your students. It's kinda of cool, you guys are in charge, right? So the work we're gonna to do today is gonna to be kind of fast and it's gonna, we're gonna move kind of quickly through it because what I really want us to do is some writing, but we have to do some things before we can get there to do the writing. Does that make sense? Awesome. Today I'm gonna to try something new with you Instead of saying one, two, three, eyes on me, and you guys would say back one, two, eyes on you, right? I wanna try something new. When you turn and talk to your partner, when I wanna get your attention to come back to me, I'm gonna say ba-da-ba-ba-ba, and you guys are gonna say, I'm loving it. Do you know what that's from? Yes. McDonald's, right? Yeah, it's their theme song. But sometimes it's just kind of fun to change things up, right? So what I want you to do right now is I want you to turn and tell your partner, Good morning. Turn and do that now. Good morning. Ba da ba ba ba. Dude, yeah, I'm loving it. You got it. Good job. And it's going to take some practice, and we'll do a couple of turn and talks as we go, okay? So today we're going to be working on writing, and we're working on opinion writing. And I want to introduce you to our prompt before we do any work, okay? So our prompt today says In your opinion, are rap lyrics too extreme? or are they all right? Well, we're gonna read an article that's gonna give us some information about both sides. Are you guys ready to do that work with me? All right, go ahead and take out your article. It's in that plastic sleeve. So we did a shared reading today, and a lot of times um, kids don't realize that when it's called a shared reading, we actually share the reading. So I read a little bit of an article called Getting a Bad Rap, and then I asked them to echo read or copy read with me, and then I would read some, and then we read it together chorally. What's going to happen is I'm going to do some of the reading and then I'm going to ask you to share some of that reading with me. Okay, so I'll say I'm going to read and now you guys read with me. All right, here we go. I'm going to start us off. Getting a bad rap. Are rap lyrics too extreme? Award winning rap artists Eminem and Jay Z write songs that aren't always suitable for young listeners' ears. Lyrics with bad words are common in rap. Many of Eminem's songs also describe violence and rude behavior. Eminem's album, The Real Slim Shady, broke records in early 1999. Nearly two million CDs were sold in its first week. Rap is popular all over the world. It's big with young people. You guys read with me. Should rap artists tone down their lyrics? Should they stop writing songs with violence in them because kids are listening? Read the following arguments. Then decide for yourself. I'm gonna keep going. No, rap lyrics are all right. Rap is the voice of the streets. Changing the language would take away the truth of the lyrics. Artists write songs about their lives. Their songs won't be as real if they change their words. Kids know that some of the words shouldn't be repeated. They like the music and the beat. It's okay to listen to songs with bad words. People who listen just shouldn't use the words they hear. Besides, not all rap is extreme. Groups like De La Soul rap without being rude. Parents can control which CDs their kids buy. But sometimes teenagers and adults should be allowed to hear whatever they want. It's the same as going to an R-rated movie. It's not a problem if your parents are okay. Yes, rap lyrics are too extreme. And I want you guys to read with me. Here we go. Kids hear bad words in public and at the movies. They don't need to hear them in the music they listen to. Rap song can tell a story about the artist's life. But rappers don't need bad words to get their ideas across. 
If rap artists use better language, more people would listen to their music. Turn the page. I think that it allows them to not only hear the fluency and kind of the cadence of how you read, but then it allows them to practice it. But it also keeps their eyes on the text and not kind of roaming around the room. So that way they're always, they have to keep track. I'm going to finish this off. Parents can't always choose what their kids hear. Rap music is played on the street and in other public places. Some parents allow their children to buy rap albums and play them. Because of that, other parents can't keep their children from listening to rap at a friend's house. Little kids shouldn't have to hear bad words at all. Artists should think about that. Violent songs are a bad influence. They make kids think that violence is cool. Rap artists have become role models. They shouldn't support bad behavior. Got a lot of information in that article and what I did for today you can go ahead and put that down on the floor what I did for today is I made us a t-chart because remember I said we were going to kind of fast forward through some lessons normally you would have to make this and you would make all the notes but for today I did it so we have up here on one side words from the article too extreme and on the other side words from the article all right and what I did was I just took some quick notes so under too extreme, we see it's too extreme because of the bad words, because of the violence or people hurting other people, right? Because of the rude behavior. Sometimes they show that you can push or you can say bad words, right? It's also very popular. It's too extreme because parents can't control what their kids are hearing. And it's also too extreme because kids think it's really cool. But then on the other side, for it being all right, rap is the voice of the streets. Rap artists rap about their homes. People love it for the music and the beat. Not all rappers are too extreme, and parents can control what they hear. Yes. Hmm. So for today, remember our, our prompt was, in your opinion, are rap lyrics too extreme, or are they all right? For today, I chose the, the argument of too extreme. Because sometimes when I know that kids are in classrooms and I hear them singing those songs, I think, ooh, I wish they wouldn't say that. So for today, I wanted us to do too extreme. So for the purpose of today's lesson, it really would have been a week's worth of lessons. Um, because I can't ask a teacher as I'm using their class for a demonstration to bring pieces of writing because I'm just not sure where they're going to be. So in the setup for this, we, I, I made a T-chart of notes basically just from the article and the kids are used to taking notes on things. But what I did was I used the, the opinions sides of my, um, of my prompt too extreme and all right because that language came directly from the text and so we, I set up the t-chart I took some very generic basic notes like they would do as they were taking notes but then the next step in that probably another day would be to set up what we call our dresser and drawers we, we choose a side or choose which opinion we want and again for today's purposes I chose for them um, so I chose the idea of it being too extreme and so I pre-made my dresser and wrote the words too extreme at the top because that's our reminder of our introduction. But for today we didn't have time to do that so it's something their teachers could do in the classroom. And then in each dresser I put one word from my t-chart that could really encompass many details from the text. So the bad language could encompass things like they hear bad language in the movies, they hear bad language in public. And so by doing that, I'm showing them how I take this one little piece of information from the T-chart and move it over here to my dresser and drawers, which they should be familiar with. So I took my dresser and my drawers and I broke it up into three things. Are you smiling because you've seen these before? Yeah? I love it. So we have... It's too extreme because of the bad language, right? Bad language like cuss words. It's in public, it's at the movies, and more people would listen if it didn't have those bad words. It's too extreme because it's really popular. Those rap artists are role models or people that we look up to. Our parents can't control what we hear, and sometimes kids listen at a friend's house. 
and then comes the violence or the people hurting other people, right? Sometimes it just lets us think that it's okay to have rude behavior. It's a bad influence, right? So like if I did something and she followed what I did, I would be being a bad influence on her. I would make her think it's okay. And last, kids think it's cool. So writers, we're going to get ready to do some writing together, but I want to teach you something today. Take a look right here in front of me. I have this chart. I'm going to teach you the seesaw method. So when we write, we have to make sure that we do things like balance evidence and elaboration. And when I was a little kid, we had seesaws on the playground. And two people would sit on the seesaw and they would tip it this way and then they would tip it this way. Move your arms with me. Make a seesaw like this and then like this. And what we do when we write is we use evidence from our text. But then we have to tip our, our seesaw the other way so that we can use elaboration or our own thinking. And in order to do this, sometimes we might use sentence starters. So I might say, according to the text. I might say the author states, source one states, because sometimes we have two articles to write from. I might also say, in the article. Or according to the scientist, because sometimes scientists write the articles we read. So those are all things that will be evidence, show me your arms, evidence, say that word. Evidence from our text. And so I have to tip my, my seesaw the other way and say elaboration. elaboration. Yes, and elaboration is what I think about what I pulled from my text. What I think about my evidence. So elaboration, I might have some sentence starters like this. The idea this gives me. This shows. This demonstrates. Ooh, big word. This makes me think or clearly this. So writers, we're gonna do some work today. I'm gonna start us off, but I'm gonna work to tip my seesaw and I'm gonna use, let me hear those words, evidence, evidence elaboration. elaboration. One more time. Evidence, evidence elaboration. elaboration. Yes, so watch me as I do this work. I'm gonna take my very first dresser drawer of bad language and I'm gonna start it out. So I know that when I am writing a paragraph, I have to start with my main idea, topic plus point, right? Yes. So if I know that I'm writing about it being too extreme, my topic is too extreme, the point I'm trying to make is it's too extreme because of the bad language. So I might say, oh, and I forgot to tell you, for today, I'm skipping my introduction and I'm jumping right into my first paragraph, okay? All right, here we go. I might say, and I'm going to indent, one reason I think rap music is too extreme is because of the bad language. So do I have my topic of rap music being too extreme? The point I'm trying to make is it's because of the bad language. So now I have to use my evidence. Show me your arms. Evidence. So my evidence comes directly from my text and I have some things here that I could use. We call what I did today the gradual release model. It's called the I do, the we do, and then the you do. Um, and so what happened is today I took the very first drawer of our dresser and made that into my first paragraph. And I scaffolded it with things that they should already know, like their main ideas, their topic plus their point. So I kind of tucked that in. And then I went into telling them, now I need to use my evidence and we used our seesaw arms. So I took a piece of information of my sentence starter, took my information from my dresser and drawers, and then I wrote my sentence of my evidence. Then I demonstrated how I would use my elaboration. And so I, again, used a sentence starter, but I really tried to make sure that they understood that this was my thinking, because that's where we miss the boat most of the time on our writing, is they just try to keep it putting in more evidence and more evidence, and they never put their own thinking in. 
So I'm looking at this and I think that in public and at the movies are two things that could go together really well. So I might say, you know what, I'm going to use this sentence starter, in the article. So my sentence could go like this, in the article it says kids hear bad language in public and at the movies. Did I use evidence from my text? Yeah. Yes, let's write that down. I'm going to write it, not you. So, in the article, it says kids hear bad language <coughs> in public and at the movies. So writers, I just used my evidence. What's that other side? I have to tip my seesaw and use elaboration. elaboration. Yes. And remember, elaboration is my thinking. And I'm thinking about what I just wrote here. So if I just wrote that kids hear bad language in public and at the movies, I might think something like this. Hmm. I'm going to use this shows you know i'm thinking that this shows me that kids hear bad language too much so if i say this shows kids hear bad language too much is that my own thinking did i use my own thinking yeah. yes i did so i'm going to write that down this shows kids hear bad language Okay. Too much. Writers, let me reread that to make sure it makes sense. Listen and see if you can hear my evidence and my elaboration. One reason I think rap music is too extreme is because of the bad language. In the article, it says kids hear bad language in public and at the movies. This shows kids hear bad language too much. Writers, show me your arms. Did I use evidence for my text? Yes. Did I balance it and tip it with my elaboration? Yes. So tell me again, evidence, yes. elaboration. elaboration. Now we're gonna do some work together. So you need your pens and your clipboards. We could have used a balance, um, like a, a science balance, and I've had teachers tell me that. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea, but my charts are pre-made, so we're using the seesaw method this time. But it's just something that we usually do discuss in the debrief as well. Um, and so I did my paragraph. The paragraph we did together was the second drawer of the dresser, and that's the we do together. So I kind of fed them the sentence starter and even the transition words and then I went around and I took notes as I was listening into them I'd call them back together and I'd give them the sentence we were going to write so they could just have a little bit more practice um, for today's purposes also I didn't care if they finished the sentence entirely because we w I wanted to make sure that the lesson kept moving along and then the final drawer I released to them and they did the writing on their own but this time, I'm not going to do the writing up here. You have to do it on your boards, OK? So we're going to move into our second paragraph. Our second paragraph talks about how rap music is very popular. And I know I have to start with a transition word, but then I also have to do my next topic plus my point. Hmm. Turn and tell your partners how that first sentence might go. Go ahead and do that now. So we might start with another reason, another reason, yes, good, another reason. I think bad rap music is bad for kids. Too extreme, good. Yes, it is what? Yes. Oh, sorry, love. Ba da ba ba ba. Yes, you remembered, good job. So here's what I heard. I heard so many of you say, another reason, and I was like, yeah, they got that transition word, right? So another reason rap music is too extreme is because it's very popular. Oh, let's write that down. Here we go. Another reason. Let's write that down. Another reason. And writers, do the best you can with spelling. It's okay. Okay? 
Another reason. Fast, fast. Another reason. Good. Rap music is too extreme. Is because it is very popular, and that's right here. Okay, writers, I'm going to ask you to stop. Even if you're not done, go ahead and put that pen down. Nice. This is just kind of practice for us, so it's okay if we don't finish all the words in this paragraph, okay? Because I'm writing it down, too. So we just used our main idea, topic plus point. So now we have to first use what? Evidence. Say it loud. Evidence. Yes, we have to use our evidence. So I'm thinking that for today, for right now, we're going to say the author states. We're gonna, I'm going to give you that sentence starter. The author states, and I want you to look here about it being very popular. And I want you to turn and tell you something the author states using this evidence. Do that now. The author states that that was a very popular Almost everyone started with their transition word, main idea, topic, plus point. Um, most of them had the evidence piece, except for they were trying to use maybe all three of the bullets in the drawer, which is what we typically find when we're just introducing something new. Most of them did not have the elaboration. And so that's when I would say to them, what does that make you think? Tell me what this is about. And, and I kept asking about what words meant because words like bad influence and words like rude behavior, they don't always necessarily understand what that means. So if I can get them to verbalize and tell me what it means, I think it allows for their thinking to take on more um, of an elaboration itself. So writers, here's what I heard. I heard everybody start with the author states, right? But I heard some friends say the author states Kids are listening at friends' houses. But then I heard someone take it a step further and say, and parents can't control that. I was like, whoa, that's such smart thinking. So we're going to write that down. Here we go. The author states, good, the author states, Yep, just write it right next to wherever you were writing before. It's okay if you didn't finish. Just start adding on. It's okay. The author states, kids are listening. At friends' houses. And parents can't control that. Good. The author states. Good job. That was right here. Good job. <coughs> Kids are listening. Good job. <coughs> At friends' houses. And parents can't control, can't control that, sorry. Good job. Okay, writers, even if you're not done, put it down. It's okay for now. This is just our practice. So, writers, we just used what from the text? We used evidence. evidence. Now we have to tip it and use elaboration. You guys got it. So, remember, elaboration is our thinking. So, it's thinking about kids listening to rap music at friends' houses and how parents can't control it, right? It's thinking that about the rap music being too extreme. So I want you to say, this makes me think. Think about it for a second. What does that make you think about rap music? Hmm. And then turn and tell your partner, this makes me think. Go ahead. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Guys, it's so good. So listen, you all turned and told your partners, this makes me think. And I heard this partnership over here, so smart. They said, this makes me think 
they should make music that kids can listen to. And then I said, but who's they? And they were like, oh, rappers, right? So we're going to write this sentence. This makes me think. Rappers should make music kids can hear. Okay, writers, go ahead and put those pens down and let me have your eyes. This last paragraph, oops, I dropped my pen. Thank you, ma'am. This last paragraph, you guys are going to do on your own. It's the paragraph about violence, right? So we need to be sure that we use our seesaw that we have, tell me those words, evidence, evidence elaboration. and elaboration. And I want you to try and use words that are on our chart, okay? Some of those sentence starters. Make sure you start with that transition word and the topic plus the point. I want you to draw a line under the paragraph that we just did together. And listen as I read. Very quickly, I'm going to read our whole essay so you can feel the flow. Are you guys ready? Let me have those eyes. One reason I think rap music is too extreme is because of the bad language. In the article, it says kids hear bad language in public and at the movies. This shows kids hear bad language too much. Another reason rap music is too extreme is because it is very popular. The author states, kids are listening at friends' houses and parents can't control that. This makes me think rappers should make music kids can hear. Okay, writers, this is your paragraph. Get started. I think that this is a probably the best idea that we could have ever come up with um, in terms of sharing one lesson with every third grade teacher across the district. So I repeat this lesson every TDE that I'm at. So at the end of it, every single third grade teacher in our entire county has seen this lesson and they can emulate it in their classroom, but then they can also take it further and they can move it on. It allows for conversation and it allows for the growing of our, of our own learning because that's what we do as teachers. We're constantly learning.